Yeah. Hi, I'm Kassan from here, you guys. Thanks. Lovely to meet you. Um, now, let me ask, why a film about Scientology? Well, um, I sort of, re I've, I've known Louis for, for years and I, I reconnected with him about four years ago uh, and just got chatting, you know, we got chatting about feature documentaries and it turned out that he, he'd always wanted to do one and I actually mentioned Scientology. The, there was a, a lot of kind of new information come to light about, you know, the, the fresh controversies involving people who'd left the church and were making allegations about the church and it kind of just seemed like a kind of a subject was in the air and you know I thought Louis would be a good person to tackle it um, obviously he was a bit skeptical because we didn't have any access and probably wouldn't get access to the church so we spent a lot of time thinking about how we might do it and this is what we came up with how much of a hindrance was the lack of access Sorry? how much of a hindrance was the lack of access? I think it en ended up becoming a, 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 an asset you know I mean it felt like a hindrance, but, but it kind of forced us to come up with a sort of really fresh, creative approach that I think actually lends itself very well to cinema. You know, I think the challenge with documentaries is always to try and do something for the big screen that, that feels unusual. I mean, we, wanted to, we definitely want to kind of change the grammar of what Louis normally does on television uh, and just kind of apply a different approach, you know, creatively and aesthetically and you know, in, in all sorts of ways. So actually, yeah, I think it was a kind of, it was a good opportunity. What was the scariest moment whilst making the movie for you? The scariest moment? The scariest moment was not so much, not what you might expect. I mean, if you're thinking about, was I scared by what might happen, what, what the Scientologists might do to us? It wasn't that, it was actually much more kind of creatively scary. It was like starting with a blank sheet of paper and, you know, um, how's this all going to end up? You know, we had we had backers and the BBC backed this film amazingly, and I obviously wanted to make them happy uh, and to come up come come out the other end with a good film. And I hope you feel we've done that. Uh, you quote quite innovatively with the um, with the lack of Tom Cruise and Miskovic yeah. as well in, in the movie. Can, can you tell us a bit about how you went about that process of um, recreating some of those famous scenes that we know from Scientology? Well, I think our kind of object wasn't to sort of recreate anything because I think we were kind of aware that this is just one version of the story that was sort of given to us by former members of the church who you know, arguably have an axe to grind against the church. So in a way I think we were kind of very conscious that this is the, their version of the story. We need to be sort of skeptical about that version as much as the Scientologist version. So that actually in a way the reenactments are really just kind of a, a, a device for Louis to ask some quite complicated questions about, about you know, this controversy. Mm -hmm. And Louis certainly challenges um, Marty, especially in quite a few of the scenes that we see. Yes. Um, do you ever think he went too far? Do I think who went too far? Uh, Louis, in terms of challenging Marty, because he certainly does have a, have a, a confrontation towards the end of the movie. Right. You know, I mean, I think, in a way, you know, I think our purpose wasn't to sort of like varnish, you know, sort of make Louis look good and Marty look less good. I mean, I think what you sort of see is actually a reflection of what was actually happening and what was unfolding in front of the camera, which actually, in a weird way, is sort of it's difficult to edit, you know. I mean, so I think I don't feel, you know, Louis's response at certain points in the film is a kind of genuine emotional response to what was happening and I think that's that's fine I think the audience will will understand that mm -hmm. what do you think uh, I, I I think that was one of the few times I thought possibly there was a question that whether whether what was the intention behind that I was wondering but one one other thing that I've, I was wondering was um, did you ever get to the bottom of the lady in the bikini at the start of the movie was she actually a plant was she from Scientology or no no she, she well she you'd have to talk to her about uh, her, her religious faith but I don't know she, she's a, she's a, she's an actress actually um, what's her name again Paz, pa Paz yeah. de la Puerta, sorry. She's, yeah, she's a well-known... Incredible timing, in, though, just to... Yeah, total, you know, a kind of great Louis moment. You know, it was a totally spontaneous, totally unscripted. It happened as you see it, and therefore we, we had to keep it in the film. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you clipped it in. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!